Hey everyone, today we're talking about the split stance one arm ipsilateral offset. That means it's on the same side as my working leg uh, deadlift. So split stance deadlift offset variation. <clears throat> so this variation is nice because it really helps uh, having the weight over here pulls me into this side a little bit. And so I need to be able to keep myself from over pulling into that side. It's really good for me on this right leg because I like to be over on my right leg a lot. And this is a good way to train my right leg without over lateralizing or over using the right side. I can kind of turn myself back to center. And my goal here is just to keep my headlights pointed forward. So my hips and my shoulders pretty much pointed forward. So here for a split stance deadlift, I'm going to bend over a little bit more than I might be used to in split squatting, right? Squat means more knee bend, uh, deadlift means more hip bend. And now from here, I just push gradually until I'm ready to float and then up all the way and then back down. I can tap this. Again, I'm not split squatting, I'm bending over and then I have this deadlift. If you really want to uh, train the hip extension, I can shorten this step and I can just use this kind of like a, a light kickstand and keep the other leg down really loaded here. As I shorten the step, it makes it easier for me to put more weight on the working leg. So if you're having trouble with it, maybe try it back here. And if you've pretty much mastered it, you can try it with a little shorter stance. Okay, but to deadlift, not to Romanian deadlift, I have to come all the way down. So a little bit of knee bend is actually okay there. Boom, nice step back and good. And that is the, let's see if I get it right, split stance, one arm, ipsilateral offset deadlift.